We're back with another versus here on the channel and we're heading, of course, once again into the international arena with a max youth rating face off between two differing nations. Thank you so much for all your suggestions on who we should pit against each other. Today, it's Poland versus Czechia. Now, Slovenia and Slovakia are also in the mix in this sort of little foursome that was suggested by a lot of different people. Now, for me, Slovenia, Slovakia, the Battle of the Slavs, that's going to be coming up next. But this one is Poland v Czechia, and the winner of this will go on to battle the winner of Slovenia versus Slovakia. It's a little mini tournament that we're creating here on the channel. Let's get into it. So, as ever, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the nation details. Generated players, 200 out of 200, and, of course, the Polish division. We have got max facilities for every single team in the hotel. The top division. Now, we haven't got it in the second division, but we have given the second tier labels because when teams come up through the ranks and win tournaments, you guys are saying they should count towards the total. And I completely agree. I completely agree. So that's why we've done it. Let's go and have a look at Czechia. 200 out of 200 in terms of generated players once more. The Czech first division, there we go. And of course, as you can see, max facilities all up and amongst it. And then there you go. Notes on all the teams in the second tier. In terms of the world rankings, we've got uh, Poland in 26th and Czechia in 37th. In terms of the leagues, 25th for the Polish league. And well, the Czechian first division is 14th. There's quite a bit of a disparity there, but that will all change over the course of 200 years, 200 plus years, should I say. But we start off as ever by jumping 50 years into the future. So let's head on to 2073 and see how things start moving. Okay, so we've got well. Would you look at that? Eighth and ninth for the Polish and Czechia top leagues. And of course, the Prague's and the Pulsans are taking up the recent trophies, but that's impressive. Where are Czechia internationally? First. Well, Poland, sixth, and they have been second. So, oh, I don't know, I think Czechia might, might. Internationally, they might be doing a bit better, but it's, it's only recent times. They've only first in recent times. They are actually low in terms of league. So, in terms of the competitions and the trophy hall, who knows? Well, we will know very shortly because we're about to check in on the Conference League. Okay, so of course we can't scroll back too far because there's only been a couple of conference leagues in real life. And as you can see, spoilers all over the gaff here. Sparta Prague, of course, from Czechia, take the lead. It's 1-0 to Czechia and we've got runners up for Czechia. Prague, Prague, Lecce runners up, Legia runners up, but you get nothing for runners up in this game. And oof. Oh, Banica Strava, also Chechen. So it's 2 0 in terms of conference leagues. And as we scroll, it's KGHM. We know I'm going to try this, ladies and gentlemen, don't we? For all you Polish people in the comments, allow this horrific pronunciation. KGHM Zaglebi. I mean, that feels right, but there's a little squiggle on the E, and I also feel like there's something through the L, like a sword through the L. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? We'll call him Zaglebi. Zaglebi Lubin. Lubin. God, get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, so is that 2-1? That's 2-1. Two, 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. And we're at the present day. Uh, Salzburg have just won it. So, so 2 Mm, it's a slow start. I mean, it's got a much easier scoreboard than the England versus the rest of the UK one we've just done. I'm recording this the day that's going live on the Sunday. So, yeah. Europa League then. And, of course, uh, we go, oh, well, I've scrolled up too fast. And Slavia Prague have taken the lead for Czechia once again. So it's 1-0 there. And we're moving through the gears. Oh, Sparta runners up. Lech runners up. Sparta have won it. That's both Prague's have got a Europa League. That's 2 0. Brighton, nice. Freiburg, Napoli, Man City destroying young boys. I mean, I don't even know what the score was. They might have just beaten young boys. Doesn't sound any better, does it? Feyenoord, Chelsea, Roma. Roma, the most recent winners against Lille. So it was 2 0 to Chechi in Europa Leagues as well. Dearie me, indeed. Poland, Poland, Poland. What a bad first 50 years you've had. Any Champions Leagues? I don't think there'll be any Champions Leagues. I'll tell you that for free. And we're going City, PSG, Arsenal, the usual suspects. Uh, PSG. AC Milan, Liverpool with a few, Bayern Munich, United City, both Milan teams getting runners up, Madrid, Barcelona, Tottenham, Atletico Madrid, 
and we're nearly at present day. We are at present day. No Champions Leagues whatsoever, but that's fine. The current best player in the world is a German, is George Polner, playing for Bayern Munich. And if we move down, we've got Nils Bredal for Atletico Athlet Athlet Madrid. have got two of the top three. Bayern have got two of the top four. Germany, two of the top four as well. And how far down do we have to go? Well, it's Milan. God's sake. Milan Vojtisek. I, I, I honestly, I don't give a shit. That's that's it. He's not even a real person. So if he's a f his name up, I don't give a I don't give a shit. Wanted by Barca. Where hey, like I planned it. Twenty one million pounds. He was signed for Victoria Pulsen. One hundred eighty current ability. One ninety two potential ability. He's currently twenty one. He's a model citizen. He's gonna get there. Oh Milan, Milan, and he's playing for Bayern Munich as well. So not a bad player, not a bad player at all in the 180s. Where's the next one? Another Chechen, Martin Moravec. And they are first in the world. They are first in the world. The first player who's actually in the base leagues is Hugo Rodriguez. For Lech, he's a goalkeeper and he's bloody Costa Rican. Where's your homegrown at club players? Here we go, Poland, Piotr K Kosakowski for United. And then ja Jan Prochaska for Atletico Madrid. 175s. We've got some good players in there. Got some good players in there. Well, we're about to head on to the international scene. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so no notes on them. I forgot. Okay, I've just added notes to them. And well, as you can see, it's one all. Yeah, Chechia took the lead 1 0. They actually got to three finals in a row. It was actually France versus Chechia, the three finals in a row, where France came out on top twice. Chechia did get that win in 2056. They must have had a bit of a golden generation around here. Speaking of a golden generation, how about two golden generations? Because for 20 years, France were in the final of the Euros. 2040, they beat England. They then lost to England. They then lost to Spain. They beat Chechia, lost to Chechia, beat Chechia, lost to Portugal. Portugal then had won that, then lost to England, and then Poland beat Denmark to make it one all. So it's one all in terms of Euros. There you go. And the World Cup then. So we can't scroll back too far, but we have gone back a little bit. And as you can see, nothing really happened early doors. Norway won one in 2042. We've got Czechia third place. Then Poland third place. No prizes or points for third place. Czechia came runners up. Again, no prizes for that. Czechia won in 2070. The most recent tournament Czechia have won, making that 1-0. So at the 50-year stage, we've got Europa Conference Leagues. Poland 1, Czechia 2. Europa Leagues, Poland 0, Czechia 2. Champions League, still a stalemate at 0-0. Nil -nil. Euros, 1-all. And World Cups, Czechia have the 1-0 lead. Three of the five Czechia are winning. I have got a scoreboard, um, a, a scoring system that I'm going to implement at the end as a little trial basis. I'll flash it up on screen, but I will do that scoreboard at the end as a trial just to show you how, what I'm thinking about it. And it might sh we might be going, oh, who's won this? Who's won it? At the minute, it's looking like Chechia are going to win it. So we're not too sure. But if we're not too sure at the end, it's quite close. We'll put the scores in to this new scoring system and we'll run it that way. And then you guys can comment on the scoring system and we can say, well, that did. That did not work. I disagree with this amount of points. OK, so we're 50 years in. We had a look at a couple of some of the better players. We've got any Ballon d'Or winners? People have been requesting to go and have a quick look at the Ballon d'Or winners. It's much more manageable when you're going through like the first 50 years. Of course, um, so we're going to go through. We know all these real players. Arda Gula won one for, for Nice at 31 years old. Go on, Arda. Ivan Bellumi, Belluamini for Napoli. Oh, four in a row. Italian striker. He was pretty good, wasn't he? And we're just skipping through. We've got... Hey, Jakub Kudrychki, a Polish, 33 years old as well. 33-year-old Pole for AC Milan. AC Milan must have done really well that season because their other striker, Miguel Lopez, the 30-year-old Portuguese, um, 30, 36 goals, 35 for Jakub. Look at that third place, Radek Ulrich, Czech as well. I've not been checking like second and third places, but yeah. Amil Islamovic won quite a few there. Oh, here, yeah, George Polner. Well, we know, we know about George, don't we? He's the best player in the world at the current moment in time 31 and 36 oh and andre knapp andre knapp ac milan's andre knapp another striker check 38 and 46 nice jan prochaska for atletico madrid another check emerson rodriguez the australian just winning it most recently there we go then hey, let's go through to 21 23 then otherwise this is going to get out of hand this experiment in terms of time so the polish league is up in fourth ladies and gentlemen that is impressive and Czechia 
oh my god they're down in 11th they've dropped was it 10 9th and 10th and now we've got 4th and 11th oh that's not good that's not good at all poland ranked third in the world Czechia ranked ninth are they falling off they were ahead on everything. It was either drawing or ahead for Chechia. Poland, don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. I don't know what that means. It's just a lyrics, isn't it? LL Cool J. Anyway, the Polish League's fourth. Usurped the Bundesliga. Third to fifth. How about that? Rakow. Well, keep, keep your eye out for Rakow. And Zaglebi. Lech. Pogon. What's happening in the Czech League then? Prague's. Yeah, it's the Prague's. Jihlava. Annika Strava. Bruno. Yeah. Okay. So, com conference leagues. So there we go then. Salzburg were the last winners and then we move on one year and it's AEK. The score is 2-1 to Chechia. And as we move, we've got Aston Villa winning there against Savena Svezda. Don't know why I'm saying these names. The hardest ones to pronounce. I could have said Sturm Graz versus Brighton, but I chose not to. Mines versus Bran. Lille versus Mulder. I mean, there's nothing really to report on. Sparta Prague with the runner-up there, nearly making it 3-1. And, oh, I was about to say, but... Sod all else is happening, but Legia for Poland. It's it's two all. Two all. We've got 12 years left. They've just equalised. What a dismal 50 years this has been. But hang about. S-Z-C-Z -Z should be illegal as a combination of letters. Shouldn't it? Puszka Neapolomic. Puszka Neapolomais. And that's all you're having. They're in the process of board takeover. They've won a conference league anyway. So that is 3-2 to Poland. And Polonia Warsaw. That's 4-2. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? Rutsch. Polish as well. Well, I suppose you probably can believe it, really. Thinking about it, we've just seen the Roberto Baggio Stadium has been built in Italy in 2055. Just, I just caught the corner of my eye. Interrupted myself because um, I saw Baba Haki Yetin Arena. I don't know who Baba Haki Yetin is. It was built in 2024, so I imagine Baba Haki Yetin is a real person. Answers in the comments. Um, of course, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is something that was built in real life. Named crap in it. Oh, my. Mich Michel de Wolf, 2025. Right. Uh, Mark Hughes Arena, built in 2026. Is that being built now? I don't know. Right. 4 2 to Poland before I interrupted myself by getting distracted by uh, stadium names because do you know why I've done that because it caught the corner of my eye and so many people in the comments do mention some of the stadium names that they've obviously seen down the right hand side although my scoreboard's going to be above my head up here somewhere so some of these stadium names are not going to be as visible but you know it is what it is People comment on them, and some of them tickle me, and I think I should be. This is this is this is gold content. It's not, is it? It's just me reading out weird names. Anyway, four two with the reputation of the leagues and the fact that the national team is doing much better. Maybe not a surprise. Well, they're two 0 down in Europa League. Can they bring that back? Let's go and find out. So yes, it was the two Prague's, wasn't it? It was two nil, I believe. And yeah, Dortmund, Chelsea, Leverkusen. Chelsea won quite a few here actually. Young boys. Oh, Rakow. Polish, there you go. Of, of course, we've seen Rakow absolutely ripping it up, haven't we? How many trophies have they got? 30. Like 30 leagues Rakow have got. Uh, Zaglebi, that's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, uh, Ru Ruch. Oh, Czechia, 3-2. Excuse me. 3-2 to Poland. They've only got a Czechian manager. That was nearly a mistake. 3-2 to Poland. 4-2 to Poland. They're there with a double in three years. They had a year in the Champions League in the meantime. Did they win that? Well, probably not. No, they definitely didn't because they're back in the Europa League. Win the Champions League, you qualify for it, don't you? 4-2. Uh, back, back to the usual suspects, some of the big names in England and Spain. Italy again. Oh, Puszczuk losing to Juve. Unlucky. Man City down here. Zaglebi, there you go. Rutsch again. Is that 5-2? Lech, 6-2. Oh, my God. Che Chechi haven't won a trophy. They haven't won a Conference League. Or... A Europa League in this spell of 50 years and neither of them won a Champions League in the first 50 years so if they I don't think they're going to win a Champions League do you? Not with the league all the way down there of Poland so of course we were here and look at Atletico Madrid Liverpool Tottenham they're just we're just skipping through quite quickly there's not really much to see no runners up or anything I'm not oh Rakow 21-08 which 1-0 and look at that Zaglebi runner up Rakow, runner-up three times in four years. How unfortunate for them. £60 million pound in the hole. They've got 55,000 capacity stadium. But they're the only team to have a Europa, uh, Champions League Sorry, at this juncture. Well, it's down to... Let's go over back to Euros, should I say. So we saw last time, Czechia and Poland were level. It was one all. I can't go down any further. But 
as you can see, Czechia at the top there have made it 2-1, but not for long because Poland, the tournament after, made it 2-2. So we've got Denmark run up twice here. We've got three wins in a row for our, our nations and then Belgium beating Portugal. So we're at 2-2. Poland making it 3-2 in 2092, beating Turkey in the final. Poland runner up to Sweden the following tournament. England beating Spain, Italy beating Spain. Poland again, that's 4-2, beating Portugal. Then runner up again. Losing to Spain and then losing to England. Oh my God, they could have run away with it. They've, they've, in that, they've three runners up and three wins. They could have been 7 2 up, said it's 4 2. What a turnaround. Every single um, tournament, the Poles are winning. Time for the World Cup. Yeah, of course, yeah, we, we were, it was 1 0, wasn't it, to Chechia? Can Poland come back? Uh, well, they can. It's 1 all. They beat Belgium in 2078. England beating Turkey, then Portugal, Spain, Poland runner up again. Then Poland have won against Germany. That's 2 1. Oh, Czechia straight back, beating Poland in the final. Wow. Is that worth any bonus points? Uh, no, not in my current system. But hey, I'm open to suggestions. I'm not just going to take everyone's suggestions because it would be carnage, but I'm open to suggestions. And if I like them, I might take them on board. Poland losing to Czechia. That makes it 2-2, right? Yeah, 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two to Poland. Another runner-up for Poland. Two runs up for England. Uruguay. Uh, Poland beating Spain. And that's it. We're the present day. So is that, that's 3-2 to Poland. Oh, my God. So we've got Conference Leagues. Poland have come back from 2-1 down to be 4-2 up. Europa Leagues, they were 2-0 down. They're now 6-2 up. Champions Leagues was 0-0. They're now 1-0 up. It was 1-0 in Euros. It's now 4-2. And in World Cups, they were 1-0 down again. They're now 3-2 up. So they're, they're, they've, they've clean sweeped it. They're, they're, they've won every single one at the halfway point. Czechia have done sod all in this second 50 years. Well, they've won a couple of international tournaments, but they've done nothing in terms of conference leagues, Europa Leagues and all that, domestically, should I say. Interesting. The best players in the world at this moment in time. The best player in the world is only at 186 and he's playing for Zaglebi and he's Italian. It's Carlos Henrique, who's also a Brazilian as a second nationality. Wow, what a player he is. How far down do we have to go? Well, we've got two here at 178 slash 179, respectively. A Czech and a Polish. Another Czech here, David Kostel, who's playing for Zaglebi. We've got Rune Johan Olsen Pettersson, who's playing for Rakow or Rakov. Ayaz Sari, the Turk, playing for Rakov. So, yeah, they're starting to keep some of the players in those divisions or the polish uh, nation is so we're moving on to the end it's half time the scoreboard's been flashed up you've seen it i've read it out poland are winning this one hands down can Czechia have a, sec a better second half they like they did in the first quarter but look at that the best player in the world dominic Richel, czech jakub krasbovic united polish then you go down sebastian nalipa for pushka polish another pole there christian Zoziki, some good players, some good players. The best player in the world is Czech. Polish league is fourth, ladies and gentlemen, and nowhere to be seen is Czech. Oh, it's 24th. Well, what's happened here then? How disappointing. Look, they've still got great facilities. Still got fantastic facilities. They lost, still got 183 for generated players over 200 years. It's gone down then. What's Poland saying? 185, so that's gone down as well. So it's gone from 200. So they've both fallen at a, a similar sort of rate. Polish teams, I mean, they've still got great facilities. Not all of them, though. Not all of them got the 20s. Poland are second in the current world ranking as well. But Czechia first. Oh, so domestically, I'm a little bit worried. But it's over 100 years, like 107 years. So they could have, Czechia could have had like a terrible last 10 years in the leagues in Europe. Poland could have had a great last 10 years. But Czechia could have had a good 100 years before. Because it's 22.30, ladies and gentlemen. It's 22.30. We've 107 years on from last time. So there's plenty of time to rise and fall up and down those leagues. But that's nice. Top two. It's always nice when that happens. And there you go. Lots of winners being spread around. So, shall we go to the Conference League? Right. So, the last time we were here, it was 4-2 to Poland, wasn't it? Banik Ostrava. Czechia. There we go. 4-3. The comeback is on. The comeback is definitely on. And look at this. Pushka, runners up. Ribram, Czech, runners up. Lenny Warsaw, runners up. Brno, Czech. So runners up, like evenly split. Polonia War, oh my. Polonia Warsaw, Poland, Lecce, Poland. That's 5 3 6 3, isn't it? 6 3. And in two years, from being one down to three down, Pushka, runners up. Who else has. Uh, anyone anyone noticed anyone that has won this? I mean, the only motor. Motor Lublin, runner up, Polonia Warsaw, Legia, that's Poland, a seven. Pushka is eight. Slavia Prague, runner up down here. Whistler Plock, 
Polish. Polonia Warsaw, that's another two. Is that about nine, ten? Lecce is Polish. That's 11. Sl Slask, Polish. 12. Cracovia, Polish. 13. And there we go. That's it. 13 3. Oh my God. So Czechia won the first of 10. But Poland got the other nine. So it's 13-3 at the end of that for conference leagues. Now, I'm thinking it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a whitewash. I mean, maybe internationally you might bring it back. I regardless, at the end, I will flash up the scoreboard. I will talk you through my workings and I will convert the score line to that, and then people can give me some feedback. Even if it is a very one-sided. I'm going to do the conversion because I'd love to get people's insight and thoughts on the scoreboard system that we've implemented based on previous comments that people have said. Because if it is very close in future experiments, we don't want to do anyone dirty. And especially if we're doing a little tournament thing, I don't want to be putting the wrong team through and doing an experiment and everyone going, they shouldn't have been through. Blah, blah, blah. So let's go through to the Europa League and see how many more Poland have won. Well, straight away, Krakowia runners up. The 6-2 up anyway, just uh, FYI. And... Scrolling through, we've got G Kat Katowice, Polish, runner-up. Lech, that's seven. Ruch, eight. Ruch, nine. Ruch, ten. Ruchka Legia, runners-up. Ruch, 11. Ruch again, 12. Legia, 13. And that's it, 13. So it's 13. So 13-3 in conference leagues, 13-2 in Europa leagues. Champions League is going to be 13-1. We joke, but that would require Czech Czechia to actually win one, wouldn't it? Uh, so here we go. Barcelona, Real Madrid, City. It's just all the usual suspects. Zaglebi runner up there. Zaglebi take one. That's 2-0. 3-0. Zaglebi again. Ruchka runners up. Zaglebi three times in a row runners up. Bloody hell. Ruch there as well. Ruchka runners up. Ruchka, Ruchka winning two out of three years. So that's 4-0, 5-0. Uh, Wish the Plock beating Ruch in the final and all Polish final. That's 6-0. Three in a row for Atletico Madrid beating Pushka again. Let you in the final. 7-0, Legia. 8-0, Pushka. Yeah, 8-0. 8-0. A whitewash. An absolute whitewash. On we move to internationals then. Let's go and look at Euros. Look at that, Marek Sabek, Czech manager. He's been there for 15 years. He's never won the league, but he's won 17 uh, trophies and oh, only two of them Champions Leagues. Oh, we've not got it loaded, have we? Of course. Anyway, getting getting distracted. So the last time we were here was in 21-23 and the score was 4-2 to Poland. They clutched it with four in a row. No, sorry, not four in a row. Um, Three in a row and three runners-ups as well. So... I was just about to say, are they going to run away with it? Well, way to make a statement, Czechia. 4-3, beating Poland in the final. That's what you need. 4-3, Poland run up again to Croatia. Is it going to fall apart internationally? No, 5-3, Poland are ahead. And Czechia have come running up a couple of times. They could have done with those tournament wins. They could really have done with it. It's 5-3, it's 6-3, Poland. Czechia run up again. Oh, England beating Spain. England three in a row. Czechia beating Germany. 6-4, Poland 7-4. Czechia 7-5, Poland 8-5, 8-6, it's Czechia, they're back and forth in the hot potato in, Poland and Czechia runners up, Poland, what's that, so Poland again, Czechia runners up, so 8-9, oh, I'm going to have to go back and count, so that's 9-6 to Poland, Czechia, Poland runner up, Czechia, 9-7, 9-7's how it finishes, in terms of Euro. So again, it's, a, it's, it's the closest it's been out of any of the tournaments so far, but it's a win's a win for Poland. They've done it again. And back to World Cups. It was 3-2 to Poland. And Czechia, well, equalised straight away in 21-30, making it 3-all. Poland had been run up to Argentina. But eagle-eyed viewers will notice that Poland have gone back ahead. It's 4-3. And as we move through, we've had... Oh, 5-3, Poland. Two in a row for Czechia. That's 5-4, five, 5-5. Five, five. Poland straight away, 6-5. 7-5. Poland are like, and they've been Czechia in the final. It's like, why can't we have not why can we not have nice things? It's like, can we have a bit of drama, a bit of closeness? Can Czechia actually win one? Poland again, three in a row. Three bloody World Cups in a row. 8-5. Czechia runner up. Poland, 9-5. Czechia beating Poland in the final, 9-6. Poland then beating Czechia in the following final. Can't can't be outdone, can they? 10-6. And that's it. That's the end of the experiment. So, so this is the scoreboard. 13-3 Conference Leagues. 13-2 Europa Leagues. 8-0 Champions Leagues. Euros is 9-7. And World Cups was 10-6. So this is the scoring system I was going to implement. I was going to do. For Europa Conference League win, it would be one point. 
For a Europa League win, it would be two points. For Champions League wins, it was going to be four points. For European football championships, it was going to be three points. And World Cups was going to be five points. So here is that just sort of broken down probably on screen somewhere in some form of text. And if you add all that together with the score line that we've got there, it will create Poland 148, Czechia 58. I think that's not bad in terms of the scoring system. So that's the score 148 to 58. That is the end of today's experiment. I hope you had a good time. So Poland move on to face Slovenia or Slovakia and they'll be in a sort of mini final. Any other competing nations you would like me to do this with, please do let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to incorporate four, then absolutely we'll make another little mini tournament out of it. If you want to do eight, it could be a little bit balls to the wall. The thing is, though, is the more nations you have, the, the bigger disparity it sort of has to be because, like, you don't want to have England in there because, of course, we've seen England versus the rest of the UK. They do dominate quite severely. Also, I will say for anyone who's recommended across continent ones it's very difficult to do isn't it because if you look at the barometer for success and the scoreboard Euro Euro european conference europa conference league europa league uefa champions league euros so those four of the five tournaments that we do are all european based so if we if you said do england versus uh, the ivory coast just because i can see them there it's like Italy versus Chile is like well no because Chile and the Chilean league can't compete in terms of Champions League so I mean there's the South American equivalent but it becomes a bit messy doesn't it so they need to be in the same continent really we're currently working with Europe I will do other continents if they've got the amount of leagues we're going to do one in South America we're going to do a couple of other bits and pieces but that's a bit of a waffle and a bit of a side I hope you had a good time with this one I've had quite a good time Editor Jay is going to love this because it's going to be far less editing than it took to do the England versus the rest of the UK one and yeah so Poland move on Slo Slovenia versus Slovakia will probably be up next then we'll have the final but as always do keep your suggestions coming in down below and yeah most importantly gang take good care of yourselves I'll see you soon oh and subscribe subscribe I want to get to 10k yes